Hola, it's Gabby here from Crafty Gabby, and today we're going to make those with the clothespin. And right now I'm just using the power tool, the drill, to open the hole that go through the uh, pin. And I'm using, I think it's 26, I am not sure, but I think it's 26 wire. And I'm going to use two and a half inch on each side. When you're going to measure the other arm, just put the wire to the top and the way it, it like um, lock it. And you can measure the other one without uh, moving the wire so much. Then we're going to make the loops that are going to be the hands of the dolls that are go, uh, going to make those measuring half an inch and then do the loop in that half an inch that you measure. I mean, put the wires in the little tiny mark that you, I recommend to do the mark with a white gel pen. That's what I do. Then I'm going to grab my uh, floss, um, my DMC threads, and I'm going to wrap the arms. Uh, this is a lot, a lot of different ways to do it. You can start wrapping from the bottom to the top and come back. I normally do the hand first, because I put a needle in the thread to go easing in the loop. You don't have to do this, you just have to keep that, maybe you can glue a little bit the um, final part of the thread and go inside the loop. I just cut a piece of the thread and going around the loop. Uh, I start from the, uh, can we say, the breast of the, of the doll and you loop until you find the, the little hole and you start uh, going around that until you wrap everything. Then you go back to the bricks of the door and then you add glue there. You can use fabric glue in that case because you already have a previous part of the floss. But for the beginning, I'd rather to do this uh, silicone glue or anything strong to tie the uh, floss to the wire. Then you, after you have your hand, you can wrap the rest of your arm with the same floss, the same color, the skin color or whatever you want. Or you can add what you believe is going to be the color that you're going to dress your doll. In this case, I, I'm wrapping in uh, white. And as you see, I start from the bottom and I'm going to wrap all the way down, all the way up, sorry, and all the way down. And I believe I will finish there. Sorry, I made this video a long time ago. Um, some of the followers requested and I haven't been able to put it sooner but hopefully this time i will then oh no you see i going up normally normally i try to finish in the top of the arm because i want if i have any mistake any excess of glue or anything uh it, it won't be that notable when you put it in the top that's what i'm trying to do but if you feel that your R is getting too thick with the thread. Just start from the top, going down one and going up one. Um, I recommend no more than three uh, goings with the thread. I mean, back and forward and back and that's it. Uh, I think four times it will be too thick, but two times it's not good either because i have those that are going to show you in the last part of the video that the arm was just i seen one or two loops um it wasn't good because the arms move too freely and you want to shape the doll when you finish it for certain positions and the R if it's not have the right amount of thread it won't keep that shape as you see here, I'm doing this in color with 
uh, white because I'm going to dress this doll in white. I was planning to put this video on February for the um, St. Valentine's Day, but I'm sorry, I just couldn't do it. I was super busy with other stuff. Plus, I have a surgery in my arm. Oh, it was a crazy moment. But now, I hopefully come back. I don't know if I'm going to get out of Saudi soon. And then when I'm in the States, I cannot film because I don't have anything there to film. I have all, all my stuff in, in Saudi Arabia. When, when you finish your your arms you don't wear that part and in this case i'm doing all the skin color and you i have no number of recommendations for the skin color for the dmc um threads um because you can use whatever color you want also use the whole six strands of the floss at once Okay, because it's going to look better. Uh, as you see here, I'm dropping from the top, I'm going down all the way to the bottom, but I already do the hand because I always do the hand first because it's easy with the needle. Um, or you can do it in that moment, in this, this exact moment. You can wrap until there and you can wrap and come back on the top. But you have to cut your thread and um, maybe it won't be enough. It's for that that I do it the way that I do because I cut a little piece for the ham and the rest I just keep it in the whole floss to the strand of floss to do the whole arm. Well, after this, we're going to glue the heads. You can also um, paint the head with eyes, hair, and everything, and then glue it. And you can also dress your doll and then glue the head. In any way, is make it easy for you. In this case, I'm just gluing the heads, um, putting the stands for keep the head in the place that I want. And I stand the dolls for, I, I leave them for like one hour, sometimes two. Sometimes I just leave them there all drying and go sleep and come back the next day. Uh, depend uh, what glue you use also. And then I color the head of the doll. Normally, I color the body too in the same color that I'm coloring the head. But this time, I just say, no, I'm going to leave it in a wood color. And it, it doesn't look that bad I didn't like it as much as when I colored the neck neck that we can say the neck um, but it's okay it's okay if you don't want to color it or paint it whatever um, after that we're going to wait for the acrylic of her to dry and then we're going to paint the eyes nose and mouth um, you can do for the eyes just two dots in black, um, add a little dot in the top in white, or maybe dots in blue or green, purple, whatever. Um, but I trying to make uh, a little bit of eye shapes on these ones. Uh, it's not what I do in all of my dolls, but in this one I want to have a little bit of eye shape that is like an oval. Um, that's what I do, and pinch in the corner of an oval, uh, and I'm going to, and the mouth, and I did in one like a heart shape, and the other one I do a longer, uh, like a squish heart shape. Um, I color them in light pink and dark pink, and now I'm going to paint all the eyes. First, two, I do white in everything, and then I will add the color. When you add the color, remember to add in the top of the Q 
pupil darker than in the bottom. The bottom leave it almost white. That way your eye have like a soul that we can say. Uh, it doesn't look like that cold like shark eyes that yeah, it's just one color and don't have like almost expression. Uh, but that's what normally I color my eyes. I do darker in the top, a lighter in the bottom, and then I add the black dot and the white dot. Um, that's the way I do the eyes. The nose and the eyebrows, they are just um, a little bit with black, and you can do it also with dark brown, very dark brown. Um, for the round of the eyes and the mouth, I try to do my acrylic in a ink uh, texture, like I watered down my acrylic a little bit for my brush to go easy and finer in the around of the mouth and the eyes mostly on the mouth because the eyes can have a very thick uh, round because you can have like eyeliner or she have a lot of thick eyelashes stuff like that but uh, and for the eyebrows I start um, from thick to thin uh, but you can add like flick the brush you have a very fine brush flick the brush to the bottom to the top and then you can do like little tiny hairs but I recommend to follow the shape of the eyebrow like in the close to the nose is going to be thicker and in the last part of the eye but if the temple a little bit thinner um, just just recommendations uh, but if you have something different in mind just explore your techniques and the way you like things maybe you have something that you like better or, and it's always to the taste um, whatever you want to do you can experience with the features the doll and it's good here, like I say, I'm finishing the dolls and as you see, I try to work down as much as possible my acrylic and use a very, very thin brush. I think I'm using double zero, if I'm not mistaken right now. And I forget the eyebrows, but I do it right now. I, I did the eyebrows in a very dark brown. I didn't use black for the eyebrows. We're gonna also going to use our pastel chalks for the cheeks but you can also use that I've been using lately is the um, uh, wait a minute let me see if I can find it here is the Jane Daver Jane Davenport palette pastels um she has very good ones for um skin colors um cheeks and eyes and bones you can you can add whatever colors in the top of the eye if you are good with makeup maybe you are good doing makeup in the top of the eyes of these dolls i am super bad at makeup it's for that that i don't spend too much time um doing the makeup but these dolls you can do a makeup amazing is you know how to make to do makeup to yourself um like I said, for the, I say, sorry, for the blush, just use the pastels or the palette from Jane Daverport. She has very good colors and they are very nice to, to add that. Then we're going to dip the head of our dolls. I normally do only, sorry about that noise. Uh, normally I do only the head. You can do whatever you like you can do the whole body I recommend to do it with a brush not deep in the doll and also you can do the stamp uh, this is a polycrylic protective finish water base is clear gloss 
I like this one because in the whole time I've been using it, never go yellowish. Um, also, because it's water based, it's easy to clean. And you just put your doll to dry hanging upside down by the stand. You just saw I put a thread and I hand them to whatever I can find. Normally, doing it in my lamps because they are metal, they are from IKEA. And I use the um, magnets from the stamping tool. For this dress, I just place the doll, do a triangle, and make the triangles two times. One to cut the sides and one to cut the front. And then I cut the top part of the triangle and make it a little bit smaller. How small I can go is because I measure it around the doll to see how much paper I have left like and then I, I cut it. When you have too much paper left, cut in the plate. Um, I cut exact the same shape in fabric and I you, I put together with my sewing machine the two sides. That's it. That is a very simple dress. And now I'm coloring the stamp. I color both in pink because both dolls are dressed in pink. And I also add glitter to the stand of the doll. Then we are not going to glue, well, I am not going to glue the doll to the stand. You can do that. I did it before, but now I don't do it. Uh, sometimes the doll get wiggly in the stands, and then I recommend to glue it when the stand is too wiggly with the doll. And now I'm doing the hair. Um, the hair is uh, wool and I'm doing it with the wool needle and pressing it in the foam. I recommend to be very careful with this needle because when it pricks you it hurts horrible. Uh, I'm just doing the shape that I want for the doll and I want her to have two ponytails to the size um and that's it i'm trying to do the best that i can is is no pattern or no way to follow just follow your heart and your instinct with the hair or if you don't want the hair to be complicated like this or it's not complicated it's, it's easy but i mean less complicated more easy is what you want to say just color the hair in the doll. I will show some dolls at the last part of the video, like I said before, with uh, dolls that have the hair just coloring the top of the uh, wool ball. Okay, now I'm adding the same glue that I use for the head and this, um, to glue in the hair. And don't press hard. Just is you using this glue, and know if you're going to use this glue, just press very lightly just a little bit here a little bit there if you press the hair too hard the doll is come is going to come through the hair and it's going to be a mess just press lightly and see everything is standing what you want everything to be everything to be and then you are ready just let them dry and your hair is ready you can manage a little bit of the Flying hairs with the needle, but like I say, be very careful. Um, that's it. Now, these dolls are practically ready. I'm just going to add stuff in their hand, and for the for the pink hair doll, I'm going to add this pen. That is just a bottom. It's made out of plastic, but this made out of plastic but they want to make it look like metal and I just color with alcohol ink I put the alcohol in ink sorry why and then with that brush I add little tiny colors little by little and then is that's the way I color this plastic uh, bottom um I brush polyacrylic in top when it dries I brush polyacrylic in the top to conserve it and for this tiny bear I just die cut three times the the die cut 
and I just put them together with tiny, tiny stitches. That's it. Well, I hope you like this. And uh, now I'm going to show you the other dolls that I have made long time ago. Um, that you see here, they have just one or two rams of thread, and you can move the arms like crazy, and that's it's not no good. And the hair is already colored in the doll. In this one, I add clay to the face and the, the eyes and the mouth, and put it to um in the oven for a little bit. And the other one has like a I open a hole to add thread in the top to hang it in the Christmas tree. And in the last two, you see that I add bigger heads. And um, for the smaller heads, I just have only wire and thread. You can use and join you there the size of the dolls and the type of feet that I use and the two kind or two size of uh, stand that they have in the market. Well, um, this is it. I hope you like them. I hope you find them easy to, to make. Um, thank you for watching my video. Until next time, goodbye.